Hello everyone, welcome to Legacies Academy. <clears throat> in this video, we are talking about a very important issue that's happening in the world economy that is a great in deflation in China. See, <clears throat> after the COVID-19 pandemic hit the entire world, the entire world went through a phase of recession and slowdown. Okay, we know all this, clear? But now, the entire world is experiencing something called as post covid growth spurt which means all over the country all over the world if you just take there are a lot of emerging economies which are increasing in their production whose economy is expanding whereas in china there's a huge deflation happening see chinese economy is behaving exactly the opposite way that the entire world economy is behaving clear so in this context let's try to understand let's try to understand what do we mean by deflation clear and we'll have to <clears throat> differentiate deflation with disinflation so how is deflation different from disinflation what are what are the reasons for china to go through this phase of deflation clear so this will be the discussion in this particular video if we talk about what is deflation for that matter see you would have studied about something called as inflation see what is inflation the general rise in the level of prices of goods and services throughout the economy can be called as inflation okay so i'll repeat the general rise in the price of goods and services throughout the economy is called as deflation is called as inflation whereas what is deflation for that matter deflation is something that is exactly opposite to inflation exactly opposite to inflation Okay, when I mean exactly opposite, during inflation, the prices increase, but during the period of deflation, the prices will reduce, which will go down. The prices of the goods and services in the entire economy will go down. So you might think, like, so what? If the prices are going down, it's good for us. Okay, we will be benefited. We will have more money with us. We can buy more goods. So it's good for the consumers. See, it's good for the consumer only if the consumer has money with him. Just think about it. Has money with him. See, now let's take an example of a petrol which is trading at around 100 rupees or 102 rupees. Yes, you might feel happy if the petrol prices comes down to 50 rupees. Yes or no? But to, pro to buy petrol at 50 rupees, you should have 50 rupees. Think about that also, right? Don't just think that petrol prices are low. Think about you having money. Correct? If you have 1 lakh rupees or 2 lakh rupees with you, giving 100 rupees for the petrol prices is not an issue. Okay, that will not be a problem. But you don't have 50, your, your monthly salary is somewhere around 100 rupees and you want to pay 50 rupees just for the petrol price, it's again relative in nature. Remember this. See, even when the prices go down, when the prices go down, the people should have money with them to procure these goods. If they don't have money, then this will be a crisis. Here, so this is called as deflation. So one thing that we can understand from this discussion is that the Chinese economy, in the Chinese economy, the prices of the goods and services are consistently reducing. Clear? See, so this reduction or the in, in increase in the prices with respect to inflation will depend, depend upon two things. One is called the demand and the other one is the supply. The prices of every goods and service in the economy will define or will be defined by the demand and the supply. If the demand is more and the supply is less, the prices will be more because there will be more people demanding a produce which is very less. For example, crude oil. See, crude is very much reduced in supply, less skewed with supply because you have limited resources and the entire world wants crude. The demand is more, the supply is less. Because of that reason, the price of the crude is more. Same case with gold. The demand for the gold is more. Everybody wants gold. Who doesn't want gold? The supply is very much limited. The price is more. The other way around is also true. If at all, the demand is less. The supply is more. Demand is less and the supply is more. Okay, This will give rise to the phase of deflation in the economy. Clear? So, with this understanding, let's get into the reasons for the Chinese deflation. Okay? 
let's get let's understand some of the reasons for the chinese deflation see <clears throat> everything started everything started from 2015 okay so why did this deflation occur with respect to china why usually deflation occurs see if you look at these images this talks about growth if your economy gets into the phase of stagnation or reduced growth we will have we will have deflation in the economy when the value of the currency reduces you will have deflation in the economy clear so with respect to china everything started from 2015 see china had implemented a policy called as one china one child policy from 1980s and 1990s onwards see china was following this policy because china wanted to control china wanted to control the population so china implemented a policy called as one child policy where a couple is allowed to have only one child you can't have two three four children at all in china this was a policy that they followed from 19 late 1990s and till 2015 so 2015 they realized something 2015 they realized that because we have limited our population our younger population or the entire average age of the chinese population is getting older which means we don't have something called as demographic dividend what is demographic dividend demographic dividend means the percentage of the working age population in a country okay so that is demographic dividend see we don't have demographic dividend in china when you don't have a demographic dividend in china then these are the people who are aspirational youth these are the people who start demanding a lot of goods once you start working you will know you will have to you will have to buy a new shirt you will buy new trousers you will buy new shoes you will buy a new phone then you get more money you buy a new bike then you buy a new car, then you buy a new house. So by this, people who are working, the working age population, that is demographic dividend, these are the people who start demanding a lot of goods year on year. Clear? When you don't have these people within your country, then you will not have people who are demanding. If you don't demand, then the producer will not produce. If he is not producing, he will not employ more people. If he is not employing, people become unemployed. If they become unemployed, again, they don't demand. So this becomes a vicious cycle in the economy. So the Chinese realized that we have a problem of demographic dividend. You might ask, why don't India have this problem? See, India is going through an exactly adverse effect, opposite to what China is experiencing now. India's population, if you took out the demographic dividend, we have 65% of our population between the age of 19 to 60, working age population. 65% of the out of 142 crore people that we have, belong to this category of 19 years to 60 years these are the working age population that we have so india doesn't have this problem of re reduction in the aggregate demand okay this is the chinese problem that it is going through problem of demographic dividend here now from 2016 to 2017 if we talk about 2016 2017 we're talking about there was a huge trade war happening between us and china US boycotted around 34 billion dollar worth of Chinese goods and similarly China also boycotted US goods. So this trade war that was happening between US and China affected Chinese economy in a very bad way. Okay, these are the two important reasons. Talking about the other reasons, starting from the COVID, 2019 we have the COVID-19 which is also called as Wuhan virus. Okay, so because of this Wuhan virus, all the corporates around the world who had their manufacturing units in China, they started deciding, they decided, we will decouple our supply chain mechanism from China. Let's not over depend on China for any manufacturing produce. Let's, let's start our manufacturing unit one in Bangladesh. Let's start one in Vietnam. Let's start one in India. Okay, so let's, let's diversify it. Let's not depend only on China. So this caused a heavy toll for the Chinese economy. Clear? Just after COVID, we have the Russia-Ukraine war. When Russia invaded Ukraine, when Russia invaded Ukraine, this gave rise to a lot of global economic crisis. Global economic crisis. 
the oil prices went up and china is the largest importer of oil in the world when the oil prices shot up that's the reason why in, in india even we have uh, the petrol prices at 102 rupees or 103 rupees for that matter when the oil prices shot up the import bill for china increased at the same time the chinese housing market or the property market also crashed real estate crashed okay finally the chinese communist party or the communist party of china had a very big crackdown on the technology giants okay the technological giants of the china were growing more powerful than the chinese government so the chinese communist party the cpc communist party of china regulated the tech sector because of this the tech productivity reduced and there was a lot of unemployment and the technological growth faced a slowdown because of all these reasons that we've talked about post covid post 2022 i'm talking about where the entire world is experiencing where the entire world is experiencing a post covid growth spurt growth spurt but china is going through a phase of deflation okay the same thing continues after deflation you will have a stagnation then you will have a slowdown then you'll have a recession then you'll have depression then again the economy has to get into the recovery phase then you will have a boom for this to happen it takes a lot of effort by the government and it also takes a lot of time that the china doesn't have now because the entire world is picking up the pace of the economic growth so with this discussion we come to an end of this so if you have liked the video please hit the like button subscribe the legacy as academy youtube channel for more such interesting content hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates from the legacy is have a nice day thank you